What is good guys, back with more SPL. This is week 7, Eternal Spirit from the Tigers vs Empo from the Runas. Empo's team is known, it's Specs Pelipper, Specs Balabron Greninja, AV Magiana, Rox 3 attacks Pert, and Z move either on Zapdos or on Katana, I think it's interchangeable. So the Specs Pelipper is just gonna click Hurricane here most likely, it's pretty obvious. Eternal can go for either Toxic or T-Spikes, depending on what he has, and he has T-Spikes, okay. So he's just gonna spend Recover here, Empo's trying to get a crit or confusion. Ambo also doesn't have another way to really deal with the specs because if you go Zapdos, then Eternal can just switch out into either Ladi, Clef, or Pharaoh to deal with Zapdos. Uh, looking at the rest of Eternal's team, as I think he's just gonna spend recover here for a while. Granger or Chomp is the Scarfer. Chomp could also be Z move if Gwen is the Scarfer. Clef probably has rocks, Pharaoh spikes. So he goes in the Ladi, which I'm a bit surprised by, but that takes it better than I expected. So you can Mega and uh, Rooster recover up here, because then he gets extra spadef. So this definitely makes HP, I don't know if it has some spadef or if it just naturally eats it up that well without spadef. So the Megina comes out which is AV, but if this is a CM Ladi, it actually beats the Megina 1v1, unless Ampo crits it with a Flurkin. Uh, if, um, if Eternal doesn't want to risk getting clipped by, crit by Flurkin, he could just switch out into um, Pharaoh or Pex. Or he, yeah, he just CMs up. So Ampo Volt switches, which... Um, he expected him to switch, obviously, but Megaladi has usually carries CM, so it was kind of obvious that he had CM. The other moves are we saw recover, call mind, uh, restore power, and then the last move could either be a coverage move. Uh, going Pelipper doesn't do anything because Ladi sets up on this, unless he's getting a crit or confusion. So he just used the Pelipper to pivot back into the Megiana. But now um, Eternal can just CM again, or if he doesn't want to risk a crit, he could go. Pex or Pharaoh. He CMs up again. Ampo goes for Florcan and does absolutely nothing. So now Eternal could just recover up. Um, Megina's at minus two, so unless he crits, he's not gonna be able to do anything. I think. Yeah, he has to crit this with Ian Megina or with the Greninja, otherwise, he can't beat the Ladi at all. Katana dies to stored power, and it's slower if it's not Scarf, and even if it's Scarf, Knockoff wouldn't do that much. Maybe Scarf Knockoff Katana could bring it in range from Swamp at Ice Punch, but even that I doubt. He goes for Ice Beam now, changing up, changing it up, going for the Freeze. Doesn't get it. So Eternal reveals his last move is Substitute, which actually helps him a lot, playing around crits and freezes and hurricane confusions. So now Empo is not able to break the sub. Okay, he's able to break it with Ice Beam into Flurry, but now Eternal can just sub up again. And Empo is just screwed. I'm pretty sure this Ladi just wins unless he crits it with Greninja's Dark Pulse. He goes Greninja, this T-Spike definitely is what Eternal needed. Because um, this way he can recover up and beat the Greninja without attacking it with just T-Spike wearing down the Greninja. So Eternal could sub up here or he could switch out. The thing is, he's already set up to plus 3 so he... Um, Ampo switched out there expecting Eternal to not want to risk the crit, I assume, expecting the Clefable to come out. So I do understand where Ampo is coming from. But Eternal already set up to plus 3, so I also understand that he wanted to stay in. There's a crit, did he? He subbed again, yeah. So now he could just recover. So this is what I was talking about earlier. He gets crit again, wow. Two crits in a row, that's a, that's a throwback to P2 versus Poik, where Poik crit P2 twice to get a win. This game, it didn't matter though, because Eternal had to sub up to play around the crits. Now, he already got two crits, like what are the chances or the odds to get three crits in a row though? <laughs> But uh, I think Empo under has it uh, figured out that Eternal is just going to stay in and try to win with the Ladi. So he's probably just going to Dark Pulse again. Technically he could go Clef now if he doesn't want to risk it. Because he saw he already got crit twice. But on the other side he might not get another great setup opportunity. No, I mean I think I think if he plays it patient he gets another setup opportunity later on Zapdos. On Zapdos or maybe even on Kartana. Depends on Kartana's moveset. But he now, if he doesn't get crit and stay, then he can he just wins six zero with the Ladi, so that's that's also tempting. I would probably go Clef and not risk it. Actually, yeah, that's probably what I would do. But it depends a bit. Um, maybe he's scared. He does just stay in and I assume for recover. He sub yeah sub sub okay yeah that was the better play because if you don't get crit last turn now if you get crit doesn't matter and now you can recover. Yeah yeah subbing was definitely played and never mind. So now you can just. Rec uh, CM up because uh, I at this point I f it's obvious that he's just staying in he doesn't fear the crit it seems 
uh, Empo, I guess, kind of wasted, quote unquote. I don't want to like. Like, obviously, he didn't choose when he got the crit, but he got the crit on the wrong turn, which sucked for him. Uh, he just didn't have anything for the Zladi, as he doesn't get the crit there. Eternal can recover up. The Greninja dies to the poison, and now the game is over. Uh, if he goes Pelipper, then he can just sub up again. If he goes Megina, he can also sub up, helps him play around crits and freezes, like I said, and around Hurricane Confusion from Pelipper. Katana, if it's Scarf, knockoff, which I don't think it is Scarf. Could go for a knockoff, but even that would, wouldn't do that much. Like some matchups, uh, Reflect Up is actually better than Sub, but in this matchup, Sub was also really helpful. But yeah, Reflect Up would have been great as well, because then he could have, um, he could have like, stolen Megina's typing, and then Megina and Greninja could not have hit the Slotty super effective. And it also would have been pretty much game over as well if he had Reflect Up. Well, maybe not, because he, with the subs, he could play around the crits better. So yeah, in this matchup, sub really helped out. Like not in this matchup, but like around, it helped around the crits. Yeah. Also, yeah, I haven't been uploading that much because yeah, just subbing there to play around the crit and confusion. Eugen doesn't even break the sub. Yeah, I still don't feel that well. That's why my uploads have been a bit less. But you guys can still expect expect a lot of games from the last weeks. Uh, if I don't do them while SPL is going on, I will do them after SPL is over. They will go up, right? So you should just sub again as. I was only able to break the sub because of the U-turn damage from Pelipper. So Lokin still breaks the sub, but now he can just recover and yeah, okay, he, he has learned it. He already got crit twice early, so he subs again in case he gets double crit again. Recovers with the correct player. Yeah. And you can see even two floors weren't able to break the sub because he slowed his special attack a lot and a lot. He seemed up to plus six. Now Eternal can just kill this with stored power from this range and he pretty much just wins. Uh, Empo can pretty much forfeit this. So Eternal after his loss last week, he was like 10-0 in team choice. He was a 5-0 on Snake, he was 5-0 SPL and last week he lost the game after a long time. But he's back back winning now. And Empo has a rough has had a rough SPL. Uh, pretty much I'm pretty sure I think I recorded most of his games as well. They are, they're gonna be coming, uh, I'm pretty sure I already sent some of them to a man ultra robots to guest narrate them, but he's pretty busy as well, so yeah, it's obvious that he wasn't able to do them all. And yeah, this is the Tigers was the Runas, and the Tigers are, I think the score is 1-1 one, one at the moment, so the Tigers are up 2-1 now. If Eternal wins this, which it's pretty obvious he's gonna win, which is why I'm talking about the score, because the game is already over. And yeah, the katana is not scarf, just dies to stop power and forfeits. As Gamma says, my nephew is crying, play fast. I said that earlier already, I didn't look at that at first. Now, thank you guys for watching. I don't know, I kind of missed him out there. He turns back at the winning side street, whatever. Yeah, my, I messed up my English there and my ultra. Amazing, classic dog. You can expect more uploads later. Uh, ABR was Black Oblivion, happened earlier, that's gonna go up. What, anything else? Uh, Brofist vs P2 is one of the highlight matches this game. This week, that's pretty much it. You can expect that live. And I think Aim is also playing Gondra later, so I'm gonna try to catch that. Have a fantastic day. Smash the like button if you wanna see more, and peace out.